Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation with a short note about a recent observation. In fact, just two hours ago, uh, sort of looking out the window from our office and on the way uh, down to the docks at uh, Point Shulshul. And that has to do with a sailboat race uh, that's today, uh, was today, it's over now, called the Jack and Jill, or used to be Jack and Jill Race, put on by the Sloop Tavern Yacht Club, which is uh, around the corner from us as well. So that race is going on, to, went on today, and they got hit by a very sudden squall. And that's what I want to talk about with relation to new weather sources. And this is just a hint that this kind of data may be very useful going forward. Just a hint, but it's such an impressive hint and such an impressive squall that I want to tie these two together and uh, put it up here. So what to look at first, uh, maybe the course, the race course. Okay, so here is the race course. They started here about 11, 11 to 11.30, depending, I think, on the size of the boat. And um, our office is about right here. And at the time involved, this is about 11.30, we're looking at what took place, I'm guessing here, I'm guessing took place on leg four. So they went one down leg, one, one leg down here, that's into the wind, the wind's out of the south, we'll look at that. Down here, run up to here, then down here, and then back here. And right around this area on this, this, this leg of the majority of the boats and this leg, or the ones we saw, um, is when this squall took place. And I must admit, only having a view of, a, of the, from where I was located here, I only had a view of the water about right here, actually. This kind of, literally about almost the size of that boat. So it's more impre it's impressive there because I saw at least, well, I, not at least, I saw four boats lose a spinnaker. That doesn't mean just get wrapped up in a problem. That means the spinnaker flying from the masthead. And uh, one boat... Uh, one boat with rail near in the water for almost a minute trying to get things, not trying, they did get, they got things sorted out okay, no problem. But it was, and it came on very fast, and that's what I want to explain. So I was up here at work, and I'm driving down the hill, and this is something like 110, 110 this afternoon, and remarked to myself, what a beautiful view of these boats out here sailing. Uh, it was a dark sky, it was a dark sky, but actually normal winds, maybe 10, 15 knots of wind, good wind, but nothing, nothing unusual. And the, the, even though there was dark sky, there was still bright sunlight on the sails. So I was caught by the vision of how beautiful it was with all these boats sailing along perfectly normally, and they were headed this way at that time. So they went down here, I guess, and around this mark at West Point and back up here, uh, running downwind. So I saw this beautiful. So in the time they went down here, this was all beautiful scene. I got to where I was going and looked out and it was still very nice and then just sort of wandered around. And then about 15 minutes later, that's like 1.15, then all of a sudden, this water was all dark here, and the boats that I could see were just having a big trouble handling this very sudden, I think very sudden gust of wind, squalls that came through there. And then, okay, and they got that sorted out. You know, they're all experienced sailors, so they got that sorted out. But then, just as quick, maybe 1.30. So I don't know exactly the time frame. I have to wait and hear from some folks who are actually out there sailing. But from my perspective here, it looked like this entire thing happened between like 1.15 and 1.30. And after 1.30, you look back out there and it's all perfectly calm again, very nice, flat water and everything normal. So this was a very sudden squall that came through by itself. That's the background. Now the question we have here is, is there any way for the mariner who has his, all his tools in place, any way to forecast that such conditions might take place? And I want to show at least one example that, that there could be. And so here, and we have this in our book. This is a book of Modern Marine Weather. It just came out, third edition of that book. And let's see if I have a pictures here. And the technique that we're look, going to look at is what, what's called simulated radar ref, 
ref uh, reflection. So what these new models do, and there's several sources of this data now, and what these new models do is they make a forecast for you of what the ra weather radar is going to look like. And then we put together some sort of guidelines here about these different colors and what they mean with regard to the squall. None of this is really official in any sense. This is just stuff we put together based on um, some observations. And here's what these squalls look like. And the, and the intense ones you're looking for, ones where not so much where it just blends like this across here, but where you see steep edges, where you go from this, this high, high reflectivity down to none on a sharp edge. Those are marking the well-isolated intense squalls. And then the example that we have in the, well, let me go back here. The example we have in the book is a case that took place over here uh, in the Mediterranean where here there's nothing and then all of a sudden here three hours later you see this. Uh, this is actually a very large system, much larger than the one that we're talking about today. But it's, a, it's that sort of idea. And we have cases here of the data and here's a type of forecast that you could see that's in our textbook. So I'll let that go to look at the textbook and look at what we see now. So uh, let me back up. Okay, so now I'm going to use, uh, I'm using the program LuckGrib, uh, which is uh, for Macs or iPads, that it has, a, um, and then the, it has a, a very nice di display feature, and it will show this reflectivity data. A lot of the viewers uh, don't yet have that dialed in yet. That's a relatively new parameter, but LuckGrib has that. And so I'm looking at the HRR model, High Resolution Rapid Refresh model. And, uh, and I've got the wind plotted here, just the wind, and then the simulated radar reflectivity. That's plotted. And um, then, uh, and see here, the wind, the wind in this period you see is about 10 or 15 out of the south. And then if we go here, wait a minute, here, you see that at the time of this squall, it, it doesn't show up here at all. This, these, these wind reports at the buoy, this is the buoy at West Point back here. That's measuring the wind right at, right at this point, which is sort of right in everything, right in the middle of all this stuff. But it's, not, it's simply not going to see it because um, it's only reporting this data at this particular source every hour. And so this all happened between these two hours right here when, sure enough, the wind is, you know, 12 to 16 knots in that range. So that was all normal, sort of normal sailing. And again, that squall blast is not going to show up here. There, there may be other places this data is recorded more frequently. And that I have to go check. But the, the normal online, uh, you know, National Data Buoy Center presentation only shows it every hour. So let's go back now to luck grib. Uh, luck grib right here. And so here's this win. Now, and here's, well, this is right now, 1808. Well, this is, I don't know what this means, 1808. Greenwich Mean Time is 2200 right now. But um, so, but here is, this is now, this happens Sunday at about uh, 2000. And so here's the point I want to look at. Now, here's where I watch these boats get, get hit by the squall right here. And sure enough, it's not there. But look at this in the HRR model. There's coming here is absolutely nothing, shows normal wind, and then wham, here comes that, here comes this huge reflectivity, a huge squall showing up here. Uh, very transient. You see, it goes bang, goes away. Bang goes away. So it's not exactly in the right place, but it's almost exactly at the right time. And uh, then if you zoom out, you can just look at the neighborhood. You know, the neighborhood around here, you see these things. These are the very uh, squally conditions, very unstable conditions. But um, I was just struck by the fact that 
here this model is. It could be a coincidence, could be a coincidence, but I want to just be a little optimistic and say this could in the long run be a potentially powerful tool for alerting mariners that you could have very fast sudden squalls taking place. Now, I think a lot of trained people are going to look around the sky and say, well, that could happen too. But it's, uh, you know, uh, th this is a little more, uh, a little more uh, evidence. So that's the point I wanted to make. This is called uh, this is called the simulated radar uh, composite reflectivity parameter that you can view on LuckGrib and maybe some other programs. But so far, this is one I know about.